We've got the happy cookie lady, Christine, back with us again. Earlier, we showed you how to make some brewer's treats. Now we're focusing on Halloween. What you got for us this time? We have some scary eyeball Ooh. peanut butter candy truffle type things. So, oh, How do you make them? Well, well, really easy. We take a cup and a half of creamy peanut butter. Get that in the mixer. And we're going to blend that up with a stick of softened um, either butter or margarine. Okay. Mix up, get that mixed up really good. I'm going to add uh, some vanilla, mm -hmm. a teaspoon of vanilla. Make that go pretty good. This, so this is the, the, our base. the base, this is our truffle candy. Mm -hmm. Usually you do it till it's all nice and fluffy, but we're limited on time. And then we've got a little over three cups of flour, or powdered sugar. Powdered you sugar. You don't want flour. Uh, no, that would be bad. <laughs> and you so can, you can just dump it all in there at once? You don't have to do a little bit at a time? Well, I, I usually do a little bit of it at a time because you don't want it to get too dry. So I, I would start with the three cups. Right. And then, then see what it looks like. Because what you want to end up with is, is something that looks kind of like roll-out cookie dough. Okay. And then uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make um, balls about an inch big. Mm -hmm. so you're going to make your eyeballs. And you're going to want to get a whole tray of those ready. And then mm -hmm. you're going to refrigerate them for about, I'll turn this little guy on, you get the idea. Absolutely. Um, we're going to refrigerate them for about a half hour so they harden up because you don't want them falling apart in the, in the white uh, chocolate. These have been in the fridge Those for a have while. been in the fridge. And what I do is I, I did the... Um, um, 12 ounces of the white chocolate. And you said to mix that Mix in about a tablespoon full of shortening. And not water. It out. And if it does start to thicken up, you can add a little bit more shortening. Okay. You want to try drunk Duncan one? Absolutely. Okay. Don't want to get it on your pretty suit. And then you're going to have some excess at the bottom when they dry. Yep. You want to let them harden and then you, you just need to take a paring knife to the bottom. How long does it take for them to dry before you can handle um, them like that? Maybe a half hour or so, just kind of touch them and feel. And while they're still wet, what you're going to want to do is take either a blue, brown, or a green M&M mm -hmm. and, and place it on the top so that it sets on there for the, gotcha. the pupil. I'll do a brown one. Now once they um, totally get all dry and everything, then, then they're good enough to pick up and they won't melt on your fingers. And you're going to take some of this red gel, decorator mm -hmm. gel. And of course, for Halloween, you need the bloodshot eyes. That's what my eyes look like after I sleep in my contacts. Oh, the <laughs> scary I eyeballs! I don't think they look this bad. I've never, I've never <laughs> seen you look like that in the morning on here. So, and then you don't have to keep them refrigerated or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just put on on a tray with some other fun snacks, and you'll be good to go. Those are so. fantastic. You could probably maybe even incorporate them into a different sort of Halloween thing, where you make an actual face, and those are the eyes. Yeah, and I've done, fing I do finger cookies that have the, um, the fingernails corns? and everything on oh, them. They're okay. actually like a slivered almond oh, neat. for the fingers, and those look really cute interspersed in there, too. So. And of course, you've got some really cute... Um, those are my, my, my Halloween cookies. Your Halloween cookies. Yep. So if you don't want to do the work, Christine, Give me a call. the happy cookie lady will do it for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining it's us this fun. morning. Had a, got a lot of great ideas. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.